Imagine being 30,000 feet in the air, feeling the tension rise as an altercation unfolds aboard your flight. On this particular American Airlines flight, a man started to act disruptively, his anger escalating to the point where he began to hurl anti-Semitic slurs. I'll see about it with you. He threatened another passenger, using derogatory language that sent chills down the spines of those within earshot. The man then attempted to play the race card, claiming that people were against him because he wasn't white. You're teaming up! Do you see how most of the people are white here? He accused, his voice echoing in the confined space of the cabin. As his anger grew, he picked a fight with a much larger man who claimed to be a police officer. An unexpected turn of events, yet somewhat relieving to the alarmed passengers, who watched as this supposed officer took control of the situation. A scene of chaos high above the clouds ended with the disruptive man being placed in a headlock and escorted off the plane. As the plane landed, authorities were waiting to apprehend the unruly passenger. The evening had not yet given way to the quiet of night when the man, now outside the aircraft, found himself restrained once more, this time by the firm grip of law enforcement. His actions, fueled by disorderly intoxication, had escalated to physical aggression, earning him two counts of battery charges to account for. American Airlines, in the aftermath, broke its silence. Acknowledging the incident, they described it as a disturbance in the cabin involving a disruptive customer. Their statement, however, wasn't complete without extending an apology to their customers. The airline expressed gratitude towards their team for their professionalism and offered a sincere apology for the inconvenience caused. A flight to remember, for all the wrong reasons, leaving us with a stark reminder of the importance of respect and understanding, even when we're 30,000 feet in the sky.